Namaste, you guys. I'm Jenny G. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate every single one of you. So make sure you hit that little subscribe button down there in the corner to get my content on my channel. And please like my videos. It really helps with my content and so on. So now this week, I'm going to be talking about what cosmic vibes can we expect? Like what's coming up every day? How can we utilize this? How can we make it work for us? What not to do on certain days? Because this is a week when you're really going to be taking a look at, am I really transforming into who I want to be? You're going to be doing a lot of reflecting this week. You're going to be, you know, like, where am I now? Like, am I at a certain point where I want to be in my life? You know, no matter what area it is, if you want it to be married or have a baby or to start a business, or maybe it's a health routine, or maybe it's a project and so on, you're going to be really tuning in because this is a high vibrational week. You know, we're in the Christ consciousness, like I channel and connect with the Christ consciousness, you know, I'll read into your level of consciousness to see where you're at and give you a reading from that point on. I'm a psychic clairvoyant medium, right? So let's talk about you. This is about you. How are you handling these energies? You have been feeling that, you know, I can feel something's coming up. I can feel something's changing, Jenny. I can feel something's brewing. That's why I wear my coffee shirt today. We are brewing. <laughs> we are brewing together as one collective consciousness, right? I do love my coffee, I must say, right? So anyways, let's talk about you, as I mentioned. So how many of you can feel this energy? You know, we are leading into this huge eclipse in April. It's here on the lunar eclipse on the full moon on the 25th. So if you guys want to find out what drastic changes are coming in April, there's a lot of drastic changes coming. You'll have to watch my other video I did on the April no moon eclipse Mercury retrograde, right? I think I put it out three weeks ago or something. So in order to see it, you're going to have to subscribe to Jenny. I'm just saying, right? So now this week, you guys, you have already seen and you're going to see this more coming up for you. There's people from your past coming back. How many of you have got a message from somebody from your past or run into somebody from your past? Or you're like, you know, I want to reach out to this person. It's been quite some time since I talked to him. However, some of you are going to be like, you know, I really, really want to resolve these issues or this situation with this person. So whenever you're in that zone, really pay attention to who you're drawn to, maybe who you want to connect with or resolve issues with and so on. It really gives you that opportunity to resolve these issues. And also, you know, you could hear from people from your past and you can be like, you know what, I don't want to talk to that person. I'm done. That's okay as well. You have to go on your own comfort zone. However, just be very mindful that Mercury retrograde, because we're also in Mercury retrograde. Oh, my goodness. It's not the time to start a brand new relationship. You can talk to that person and so on and everything, but don't be jumping into a relationship during this time frame period. I mean, you can do what feels right for you. However, the energies won't work with you as much because it's so transforming. You know, you, you've even seen that certain people you've recently connect with, we all get tested how we're going to handle situations, right? So if you have people around you that you're like, you know, like they keep on putting me through this or they keep on putting me down or they keep on like doing this to me, ask yourself this, why are you allowing this? Why are you allowing this energy to disrupt your life? Why? Really tune into this. You know, you really want to keep people in your life who support you in a positive way. You're going to feel your soul tribe. Like I have soul tribes 
all over the world with certain people who I truly connect with. You know, we don't have to talk every day. You know, have you ever noticed that? Especially right now, you know how I'm saying people from your past, you can be like, you know, I'm going to pick up the phone or I'm going to send that person a message just, just to say, hi, how's it going? Pay attention to that. You know, because when you let go of people who bring out the worst in you, you're going to see changes. Ask yourself, why am I still connected with this person who makes me feel like this in a not good way? Ask yourself, why are you allowing that? You know, sometimes we have to go through different cycles and repeat cycles and don't ever, 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 ever judge anybody ever you know we all have our own path to walk upon there's been a lot of karmic clearings with situations you know and it's really really important to really pay attention to this right you know like we've all had to end situations and relationships you know and whenever there's endings and this eclipse by the way what you are not paying attention to that really needs to change this energy of the eclipse it's going to remove that person from your life instantly. Or if you're at a job that you're like, God, why am I doing this? I just, I'm not happy. You could all of a sudden, you know, quit your job or maybe your employer is going to be like, that's it. You know, like we're letting you go, right? Really be careful what you want. How many of you guys have started a, a vision board? Like I, I talk about that a lot. Vision boards are so important. We can manifest many things. I manifest things all the time, but you have to be very, very specific, very, very specific. You can't have your mind going to loopy, loopy, loopy zone. No, you're going to feel it. You're literally going to feel it, right? So I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So now between March 19th and the 2nd of April, like we're already like, towards the end of March here, really pay attention to what happens this time frame because what is happening this time, you're going to be working through that, through Mercury retrograde in April from the 1st to the 25th of April. Like right now, we're already in that pre-shadow of Mercury retrograde and that can seem worse, technical issues, electronic issues, messages are scattered, messages are lost all over the place right? The pre-shadow can be actually worse than the actual retrograde. However, April with the retrograde solar eclipse and so it's solar new moon. Oh my God. Like I'm not even going to go on about it because you'll have to watch that other video. Right? So now every day we get affected differently, you know, in our body, right? So on the 23rd and 24th, you might be having some digestive issues. You might be having like, you know, this isn't just really sitting here. You know, it's it's just really hard for me to drink this or to eat this or whatever. Pay attention to that because our bodies are more sensitive on different times. I had messages, geez, Danny, why is my fingers bothering me? Why is my shoulders or my feet or whatever? You got to listen to my videos. I'm just saying, right? So now on the 25th to the 26th, you can find that your kidneys and your skin and your bladder and your pancreas area could be a little bit more sensitive. And this also affects your animals. So pay attention to, you know, if they're scratching a little bit more on that day or if they're drinking a lot more water on that day and so on and so on and so on. They're very sensitive, very sensitive, right? You know, of course, if you have any concerns, please see your vet. I mean, I'm an animal communicator. I talk to your animals when they're here and also your animals when they have passed on. I talk to the Animal Kingdom 24-7 non-stop. And spirit world, as I call it. I get messages 24-7 non-stop. I observe, I see a lot, and I don't say much, right? So now on the 30th, 31st, you're going to find that your liver and your hips and your thigh area could be a little bit more sensitive as well. 27th to the 29th, you could find like your prostate, gentlemen. You know, your genital area could be a little bit more sensitive. Go easy on yourself. Really, really listen to your body. Don't push, 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 right? Like if your knees, let's say, are really, really bothering you one day, be gentle. Be really gentle. If your shoulders are really bothering you, you know, maybe do some light, gentle stretches. And this is a year 
you got to be careful because this is like an accident prone year. You could like really hurt your body. You could break things. You could sprain things. Your body is more sensitive this year. This is the universal eight year and also the year of the dragon, right? You can also watch my other video on what I did for my predictions for this year. I put it out, I think December. A lot of my predictions have already happened and come true, right? So now let's talk about more during the day here. What What's going to come on for you guys? Like the 23rd to the 24th, right? 23rd to the 24th, you very well could be feeling some doubts and fears and be like, oh my gosh, like what's going to happen? Here's some crystals, you guys, you know, maybe certain crystals help you during the day, right? It's, it's like really gravitate towards what you're really feeling, especially as we get towards this this full moon on the 25th in Libra, that is the lunar eclipse, you guys. The lunar eclipse. You're going to be wanting balance that day. You're going to be like, you know, I want to bring like things more in harmony with my relationships. I want to bring in more harmony within myself. I just want that balance. Like Libra is all about balance, right? You're going to really, really want to be authentic. I mean, you should be authentic all the time. When you start being somebody who you're not, it's not going to work for you, right? It will come back. It won't work for you. So it's a big day and a big time for fertility as well. Maybe some of you are like, you know, we've been trying to have a baby, you know, with this solar return, the 24th and or the year 2024, 2025 or 2025, this is actually a really big time for fertility because there's a lot of children that are coming and being born on earth with a big purpose so for some of you that have been struggling to get pregnant the 2024 2025th go for it i'm just saying enjoy it and you'll be surprised even maybe during this eclipse right in april all of a sudden you find out you're pregnant and you're like oh i can't believe it i can't believe it. i've been wanting this forever expect the unexpected and even you could be seeing that even right now, a little bit coming on a little bit, you know, and try not to have any surgery that day during the full moon as well. If you have to have surgery, have surgery, you know, like even in the emergency room at the hospital, there's more, um, you know, like suicides and things like that happen during that time. You know, how many of you guys howl at the moon? <laughs> Your sleep's going to be a little bit off too, of course, during the full moon. And Aries and Cancer, Libra and Capricorn, you are going to get affected the most during this time right now. So it could go either way, either way, you know, so if you're experiencing some difficulties with things and you're like, oh my gosh, you know, it's just where the planetary alignments are and such like that. Just don't force things, just don't push things. Really take that time and step back for yourself because you're making things change. You're going to be ending situations. And it can be a little bit emotional, right? Of course. And especially during the full moon, the full moon is very emotional, you know, and, and you're also going to find that, you know, I've been wanting to find companionship. I've been wanting to find relationships during this full moon as well. But just keep in mind with the Mercury retrograde, don't jump into a relationship. I wouldn't recommend it. Get to know that person slowly. That kind of things lead up, but just go slowly, 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 right? Because things are really, really happening and coming to the surface. So the 26th and the 27th, this doorway is open with the eclipse. Oh my goodness sakes, until April the 10th, right now, this lunar, right? The other clips, that's something different. Watch my video. During that time, you're going to see more clarity. You're going to be like, you know, now I get it. Like, now I understand why that happened. Now I understand why this didn't happen now. Now I get it why I didn't get that job. Now I get it why I couldn't move to that location. Now I get it. Like, all of those things, you're going to be feeling like, you know, I'm starting to see more clarity right now. So really pay attention to it. Really pay attention to it. You very well could be finding that, you know, 
I really want to learn more about this subject. Like you, you could sign up for classes. You could be like, you know, I'm getting more drawn into this career or, you know, I'd really like to take a class and learn how to do this. Um, all of that really pay attention to where your soul is pulling you towards because whenever we get pushed, whenever your soul is pushing you pay attention because whenever you get pushed and you're like, you have to get pushed because you have no choice. It's because your soul wants to bring you to your destiny. Your soul is like, you know, we want to push you way out of your comfort zone. We want to push you right now because we really want to help you and take you to your soul's calling and destiny. And we're going to be showing you all of these roadblocks that are stopping you from getting to where you want to be. Just really reflect on that because you're going to go into that meditation zone. You're going to be like, you know, I just... I really need some space for myself right now because you're going to find on the 28th and 29th, your sleep could be a little off. You might be feeling like a little bit restless during that time, you know, because on the 29th is a master number day. The vibration is higher and you might be like, yeah, I really want to go. Let's go. Let's go. However, you very well could be like, you know, I got so many things on the go right now. I have to plan this. I have to plan that, you know, because Easter is on the 31st. For those of you who celebrate Easter, you could be, pre, you know, like planning dinner arrangements or whatever it is. So you could be on the go, on the go, on the go. And then all of a sudden you're going to be like, oh, gosh, I just I need some time for me now. I'm tired. I'm running around. You know, pay attention. 30th, 31st Easter time. You could be like, you know, I just. I just not ready to have people over in the morning. Maybe I'm just going to be like, you know what? Come later in the afternoon or during dinner time, let's say, or cause I just need some space and quiet time for me right now. And you're going to be finding, you're going to be reflecting back on March. See where you are now compared to see where you were on the 1st of March. A lot has happened. This is a very fast year with the universal eight year, a very fast year. Things are happening quickly. And you're going to be like, you know, am I on the right path? Like, am I transforming and, and making these changes for myself that I want to do and that I want to make? You could be getting pulled in different directions. Do this, do this, do this, don't do that. Stop all of that. You know, it's great to get insights. It's great to get advice and such. However, you have to follow your path that resonates with you. Really pay attention to your intuition of what direction do you want to go? Do I want to make a career change? You know, do I want to start a health routine? You know, do I want to move from my environment? Do I like whatever it is? Pay attention because you're going to be showing these things. And it's like, don't ignore what needs to be changed. You know, like, we have things that are big that we need to change. And there's also little things. But if you're taking steps every day to work through these changes, like nobody's perfect. Nobody is perfect. Making changes can be very difficult, especially whenever we're battling, you know, certain addictions and bad habits. Those are going to be coming to the surface this week as well. You know, and really be careful what you're eating and drinking because your digestive system, like I'm saying, it's going to be off. And you're going to be showing a lot more truth coming towards the end of this month as well. A lot more truth is going to be exposed about certain relationships. If it's your job, if it's things that aren't working, there's going to be huge leadership changes in April that I talked about in my predictions video and also in the April video I had done for the eclipse and Mercury retrograde and that big changes are coming. Humanity standing up for itself. Enough is enough, right? So you are going to be seeing these changes within as well. You're going to feel it that something needs to change. Be open. It's like whenever I'm trying to make changes, let's say myself, that are not easy or painful, I'll be like, spirit, please give me the strength and the courage 
to work through this to make these changes. You know, I'm, I'm open for help. I'm open for guidance. I'm open for your support of courage and willpower. You know, nobody's perfect. You don't have to change the world in a day, let's say. You don't have to change yourself in a day. You know, it's like start writing down what you want to change. And then take steps one day at a time. People like, yeah, I got it in my mind, which is great. However, when you actually write it down on paper, you're going to be visualizing that and seeing that every day implemented in your mind to make these quantum changes within yourself. Right? So, and when you write it down, it releases that, what you're still stuck in the mind. Our mind is 24 seven on, on going, right? Let's release some of that baggage and work through that. Right? So anyways, now, Let's talk to the spirit world, right? And see what their messages are from the 23rd to the 31st of March. So I'm going to pull a couple of cards here. Now, I don't use cards when a client books a reading with me because I'm a clairvoyant psychic medium. I can see whatever I want to see, right? So I'll give you all of my insights into what I see for you specifically. However, because this is collective video, we're going to pull a cards from the universe and the spirit world. So now make sure you guys clear your cards before you use them um, and knock them three times on wood. Because if you've used the cards last time or somebody else, you're carrying their energy. And before I've already put these cards down, I have cleared them. And I, I have a lot of different decks and stuff. And I'm like, okay, spirit, what am I getting drawn to for this specific video? What cards am I to you? So that's how I use the cards. And then I surrender it. So let's ask the spirit world. I just say spirit because I, I get messages 24 seven from all beings, all messages. So I just say spirit to keep it simple. I like simplicity, right? Unless I'm, you're a one-on-one -on -one book with me, then I'll read into your level of consciousness and talk to you on that level of esoteric tongue or whatever and what level you're at so you will understand it right don't leave you in some la la lab meeting what, what what was she talking about i don't do that why would i what's the benefit right so now let's see what's coming up for you guys for us the collective world levites from the 23rd to the 31st of march what's the cosmic message from the spirit world the cosmic message from the spirit world. 23rd to the 31st. The cosmic spirit world message. It's a cosmic message. It's a cosmic message from the spirit world. Didn't feel that. What's a cosmic message? Yes, here we go. Now the card that fell over here, it's very interesting. And this is like a card to really pay attention to you guys. The card that fell out is exit. Look at how this cowboy is riding into the sunset. He's leaving the situation. Maybe it's a toxic situation he's leaving. Maybe it's a toxic relationship he's leaving. Maybe he wants to make a new start with new beginnings. And he's moving into the light. Right? You know, this is a week, as I mentioned, that you're going to really transform within. And you're going to be like asking yourself, Am I at the place I want to be? Am I transforming? Have I been transforming in quantum leaps? Or have I been taking these steps? Like, am I at a certain degree right now in my life where I want to be? No, Jenny, I'm not. Start writing down what you'd like to change. Start writing down, you know, like what you're not happy with. And start working on it a little bit by little bit by little bit. Some people go in full force. Go on your own comfort zone, right? You know? Work with your flow, but if you don't make any changes, you're not going to see any change. And be really careful because this eclipse energy is going to be removing people from your life or situations. There's going to be a lot of sudden ending. However, for endings, there's always new beginnings. New doorways open up for you, right? So it's like taking a look at the message from it be truly grateful totally grateful right because when you let go of the wrong people the right people appear for you right 
So let's ask the animal world. Yeah, my my dogs are with me. Even as you know, my my little King Charles Cavalier, she passed away in February. So she's she's with me. I talk to her every day. I can even see her feeling her along me, and I can even hear her beside me. And I talk to her all the time. And even last night, my other dog Nikita, known as the wee white doggy, when I was living in Ireland, she got her nickname from that. It's a long story. Um, she came in my dream last night, and and Nikita had passed away a few years ago. She actually passed away. My wolfhound McTavish passed away in November 20, 20, 2014. Oh my God, that's so long ago. And Nikita passed away in 2015 in June. So they're still with us, you guys. They're still very much with us, right? So it's not easy, though. It's it's not easy. Okay, what's the message from our animal kingdom this week? From the 23rd to the 31st, this card fell over right away. Oh, <laughs> now this is very interesting because this is um, dogs, actually. A dog card fell out, actually, my animal deck, since I was talking about dogs. And this is a dash hound dog. How many of you guys have a dash hound? Or maybe thinking about getting a dash hound. Now, their message from the dash hound is procrastination and worrying what others will think are blocking you from making a decision. That's right. If you're torn between your own desires and somebody else's, follow your inner guidance. That's right. You have to do what feels right for you. Always, always. Yeah, but you're going to make the wrong mistake there. Oh my God. Stay away from people who put the fear of God into you. Oh, this is going to happen. Are you crazy? Oh my God. Stay away from that negativity. That's their level of perception. Yeah, but Jenny, what if I do that? Oh my God, what if it fails? How are you going to learn? If you're following the path that feels right for you, do that. Do that. Your soul is guiding you towards that area. You can always book a reading with me, soulworkwithjenny.com, and I can give you clarity on that and give you all these insights, right? So don't worry as much about it. Go on your own rhythm and flow. But Jenny, I just feel rejected and abandoned and that. You're going to go through that process this week, as I talked about. We also have Curon energy, which is bringing up old wounds from our past, especially childhood wounds, by the way. Right? So you could be going over past traumatic experiences, you know, when you were a child or throughout your life and such like that. And you could feel like that real emptiness within. And it's so easy to run out and want to try to connect with somebody else to fulfill our emptiness. You can't do that because if you bring in your baggage, as I call it, emotional baggage from a situation or a past relationship, your new relationship is not going to work with anyone until you have cleared and healed and moved out of that and have reflected or else you're bringing in all that energy into a new relationship. It's not going to work. It's not going to work because you haven't healed from it yet. So take this time. Because Mercury retrograde is all about reflecting, resolving, resetting, revamping, and revamping yourself, revamping your needs, setting strong boundaries with people who are trying to drain your energy is really important. Yeah, but Jenny, no, 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 none of that. None of that. If you really want to make certain changes, block time out for you. I know you know, we have family and friends and our spouse and our children, whatever. However, you still have to make time for you because if you don't, you're going to suffer the consequences if it's your health or well-being, right? Really pay attention, you guys. So what's the message from the cosmic world of the spirits from the 23rd to the 31st of March? It's the cosmic message, the cosmic message. Okay, too many, too many. It's the cosmic message from the spirit world. It's the cosmic message from the 23rd to 31st. Now, it's very interesting that two cards actually fell out um, during this process. 
And I want it to, I'm going to talk about these two uh, because I really feel these energies with these cards. So now we have get into nature, gather, limit waste. Whenever you get into nature, you're going to start hearing your soul speaking. You're going to start hearing these messages coming through because if you are not distracted and just kind of going with the moment in the silence of mother nature, you are going to start hearing these messages and start to get grounded again. If you go to like a busy environment where like a mall or where crowds are, you're not going to get clarity because you're, you know, you're, you're hearing the noise and the distractions and such like that. This is why it's really important to meditate, taking time out for you in silence, you know, doing things to give you clarity. You know, like I, I used to paint, um, you, you know, as part of like my meditation. And I actually pretty much gave all of my paint supplies and easels and, you know, canvases and stuff away pretty much um, because I had thought I was moving to Vancouver Island. Um, and I'm not actually that I'm not going to be doing that for, for different reasons. There's no doctors over there. It's a huge hassle. It's a huge problem. So um, I'm not going to do that and put myself through that. So unfortunately. So now. The second card that came out is go with the flow. Let go, rest, and manifest. When you're letting go, taking time out for you, hearing your soul speak, getting in touch with nature, and just allowing things to flow. When you try to force something or push something, it's going to work against you. You know, maybe that's not what spirit wants for you. Maybe it's just not the right timing. You cannot push things and push things. I was talking to somebody the other day and he's like, Jenny, you know, we've been saying we're going to meet up for, for years now for divine timing. And I'm like, I know, I know. But divine timing could be a day. Divine timing could be a year. Divine timing could be 10 years, for goodness sakes, right? Or it might never be. But don't force it. Don't force it. Right? So now let's just ask the crystals. You know, I love my crystals. And I was drawn to this one specifically today, right? So this is why I actually pulled it out. Um, you know, I have different crystals on, but I was really, this one actually I got in the big island in Hawaii at the volcano. Um, by the way, the volcano shop there. I just love it. It's so beautiful. Like, it's just so beautiful. It, You know, it's very rugged edges. I don't like something that looks the same. Smooth edges, that's boring. I like something of authenticity, very unique. That, that's just me. That's just me, right? So now let's talk to the crystals. What's the message from the crystals? If you're seeing these cards, it's for you. It's for you. Let me know like how you guys are connecting with these cards. What's going on? You know, what's coming up for you that you're working through, you know, and even on Easter, by the way, you know, you, you could be getting together with friends and family and that can be a little stressful as well. And maybe you're going to have a really nice day, you know, catching up with people from the past. You know, how's it going? How have you been? All of those things can be a really beautiful time. I mean, for me, I channel and work with the Christ consciousness. So I go into deep trances during certain times and get a lot of messages coming through from spirit. Right. So so let's talk to the crystals, the 23rd to the 31st. Coming up. What's their message, I should say, right away. Oh, I do have this crystal. It's packed, of course. It's one of my favorites. Celestite. Soothe your soul. How many of you guys have this crystal? Like, I have beautiful big pieces and chunks of this crystal. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. So, there is your message. It looks very cosmic, actually, now that I look at it. Very cosmic crystal, I might say, right? So there's energies in all crystals. Go with what crystal you're gravitated towards. Jenny, what crystal do I get? Whichever one you're feeling pulled towards, buy it. I'm just saying. So now, please make sure you like my video. It does help my channel. You know, make some comments. Let me know what's going on with you guys. You know, share my videos. And if you'd like to book a reading with me, soulworkwithjenny.com. And you and I will connect. Okay, so namaste, you guys. Wishing you all a, a wonderful week. You're transforming. 
You're going to be looking at what is not transforming in you. What do you want to change? Are you really transforming into who you really want to be? It's a process. We don't transform, boom, just like that, right? Unless you want to change your hair color. <laughs> you can go color it, right? And there'll be an instant transformation. But transformation takes time to work through. Be gentle on yourself. Show yourself love and compassion, for goodness sakes. All right. Now it's...